and welcome to Built and Deploy, a video series for cloud architects. My name is Hamza Miraj. I'm a cloud engineer with Oracle. Today, I'm thrilled to be here with Stavros Kalnatianos, a data analytics developer and infrastructure engineer at Noasis. We're here to talk about how Stavros and the Noasis team achieved lower cost, superior performance, and tapped into Oracle low code application development, also known as Apex, by moving their project reporting workload to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. How are you able to achieve these performance improvements in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, Stavros? It was a combination of technical and financial factors that contributed to it. Apex is a fast web development solution that met the needs of our company's management who required a quick turnaround for a new contract site, latency-free, quickly accessible, and highly available. The technology choices we made in Oracle's OCI satisfied that requirement and, it, and its cost-effective price structure confirmed it was the right platform for us. Thank you, Stavros. Now, can I please ask you to spend a few minutes to walk through the reference architecture diagram that you're using on OCI today? The bird's eye view of the architecture and engineering group agreed upon consisted of a couple of virtual machines we located on a public subnet to run REST data services and a private subnet to host the data on Oracle 19C because we expected by separating those two functions we would better control hardware resources and the virtual network would perform more efficiently and it did in the end. Additionally, we wanted to protect the data by isolating it from the machine that would serve the Apex REST API calls. Then we connected to a NAT and internet gateway for internet access and we gave users Apex access to work on the deliverables via Apex's GUI. The GUI was designed by the user community via a series of whiteboard sessions, so we already knew we only had to ensure high availability and quick Apex web response. We had good faith it will be the case when hosted on Oracle's OCI. What type of data is captured in the Noesis project management application? Uh, all types of data, uh, contracts and internal project documentation, budgeted financials and human resources information, performance charts for contracts, and government contact information, skill set of involved noisy human resources, deliverable documents, images, charts, personal notes, and minutes from meetings, teleconferences, and email threads. Why did Noesis choose to set up its virtual machine with Tomcat and Oracle REST data services this way? Tomcat is a proven technology that has been maturing for years and is heavily used on the web. Likewise, ORDS, or Oracle REST data services is based on the also popular REST APIs we had no doubt Oracle has implemented to work efficiently on top of Tomcat. Lastly, we knew that Apex required a solid mid-tier for fast web content rendering, something we already had via ORDS API to HTTP conversion, which explains the choice of the combination of Tomcat and ORDS. Now, could you please explain why Noesis chose to set up its virtual machine compute servers and contracts database in a specific way? A database instance was a virtual machine on purpose. To provide us with scale up and down flexibility for maximum performance with more control on resources and security without losing our focus on cost. How is Noesis using the Apex low code development environment for its metadata? Apex low code environment enriched by numerous ready to use user interface components and a simple but powerful architecture that came handy to expedite development in a matter of weeks for a fully functional website that supported structured and unstructured data input output, authorization, authentication, many different pre canned reports on performance, contract financials and personnel, labor hours, and budget monitoring. What has been the key business? technical, and or cost advantages of using these OCI services. In terms of technology, it was OCI's intuitive cloud setup and configuration interfaces and the intuitive grouping of services on OCI's website. Then it was Apex's low code, rapid development, gentle learning curve design environment. From a business perspective, it was Oracle's account managers who quickly realized the importance of delivering on time and they immediately jumped to help us set us a schedule with Oracle's engineering resources to meet our deadline. But cost was also an important factor. Oracle's price model helped us optimize our calculations to find the sweet spot between the total annual charge and the right combination of advanced cloud services and highly performed hardware technology. Now, one last question. 
what's in the works for future deployments on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure for Noasis? Noasis has been steadily growing during the last 14 years, and so does the need to tackle difficult internal problems. It's our company's operating practice to have management correct course by identifying internal pains, such as problematic accounting processes, slow production of financial KPIs, repetitive human resource administrative tasks that have not been automated, all of which may be resolved with a cloud application using one tool or a combination of many. It depends upon the criticality of the issue, the, the vision of the functionality, meaning the management on, on any IT solution we are applying to design, the budget, and other factors, we will likely knocking at Oracle's door yet again, especially since OCI has broken the ice with Noesis and has proven it is a worthy platform with all the tools necessary for developers and cloud engineers to build scalable and highly available applications. That's always great to hear. As always, it's been a great pleasure working with you and your team. Thank you so much for joining today. The pleasure was all mine. Always happy to share pleasant experiences and success stories with competent technical partners like Oracle. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Stavros. This has been Built and Deployed. Thank you so much for joining us today. And stay tuned for more technical conversations with Oracle Cloud Infrastructure customers. Thank you.